Hey, all you viewers, today and later, how are we doing today? I know, today we're going to take a look at the armbar cork. Now, we brought the other armbar, I can't remember exactly what it, you know, what it was called, to the channel a little bit ago. Now, take a look right up there. You're going to see a card for every bit of gear review we've ever done. You're going to find that armbar sitting up there. I think it's called the drive for some reason, but still. For you guys who like the back, there you go. But okay, we're going to get to that in just a moment. Now, I like the fact that Gerber is constantly trying to bring new and innovative multi-tools out here into the public. I love that drive so much it became my everyday carry and displaced my um, suspension. I almost said center drive, but I haven't carried that one in a while. But still, these things are, you know, pretty lightweight, easy to put in your pocket, and it's not going to take up a lot of real estate. Now, I do like the fact that they've got at least seven or eight different tools on there, and it really can be a help for you. This one I found is more for like a camp cooking or maybe a kitchen aid kind of thing. That's about the only way I can put it, and I'll show you why here in a moment. Now, closed, it has about a length of 3.625 inches, and the blade on here, which is does have a little locking mechanism, I see popping out there, is about 2.50 inches. It comes in at about 3.10 ounces, and if you're curious, it was designed in Portland, but it is made in China. All right, now we're going to try to go over all the tools because there's really not a lot to this thing. You can get them in three different colors, I believe, like orange, I think they call it champagne, and black. So I grabbed black for this one, and I got the orange for the other one because if I drop it, I really want it to stand out, you know? So, okay, as you can see, we do have a plain edge blade right here, or I should say a fine edge, <laughs> you know, blade with a liner lock. And we're going to do a little cut test on that guy in just a moment. I really don't expect a lot out of it, but hey, we'll see what happens. So, if you need to get into it, kind of right here is like your little pry bar. Right there, you get in, pull it up. There's your bottle opener and what they call a hammer plate. So just for striking, you know. Now, this is what kills me. It seems like I can never get one of these open without having to open everything else. But there is your corkscrew. Here is a little lever arm that can help you on like, of course it's blurred, but there's your corkscrew. There's your lever arm. And over here, right down there, is a foil cutter. So if you're opening like wine bottles or anything else, that's a great way to help get it going. All right, now here, let's see if we can get you closed without pulling everything else. All right. Now, this is what gets me. Under here is a bit of a cutting surface. So you've got your can opener and what they call a package opener right there. And yes, these are scissors. All right. Now let's just start with uh, the weird one. Come on. Let's see how well these cut. Yeah. Really not getting a good springy action. Of course, now that I say that, right? But okay, that went a lot better than I thought it would. I have had some problems before with Gerber multi-tools and, you know, the scissors. And, of course, everyone wants to know, will it cut? Let's find out. I'm actually impressed by that. I did not expect much from that itty-bitty little guy. But as you can see right there, there is a lot of paper flakes. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a curly cue. Of course, now that I say that, look right there. So, okay, I'll take that, but we do have a lot of paper flakes. All right, let's go through the usual paracord. Pull test. God! Okay, no, that ended up being more of a slice, but pull, that's a fail. Of course, I just got to take it upstairs, sharpen her up, probably. I don't know, but slice. Yeah, right there. And yes, do 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 ratchet strap. Sort of God, one of these days I'm gonna get hit with an injunction to quit cutting ratchet straps. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. It really didn't get that in too well as you saw. It kept holding on, so 
That's a little better. Alright, take a look at the blade. Retain some paper up here. Other than that, not too bad. Okay, so I did the homework and all this fun, great stuff on it on February 24th, 20... Yeah, February 24th, 2021. And I'm filming this on February 27th, 2021. I took a look on Amazon, Gerber, and Blade HQ for this guy. On Amazon, it's $33.87. It is Prime eligible. On Gerber, it's $39. In Blade HQ, it's $32.95. It has yet to be reviewed on Gerber or Blade HQ. And on Amazon, it's been reviewed 144 times for a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. Now, here's a caveat. Because they do have a couple arm bars, I'm wondering if they lump both of them together. Like, Amazon tends to do when it has similar product from a company. They will lump every review together to make it seem a little bit more inflated. That's just what I've found out so far. But we are at that great point of the video where I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, everything right down below. Do you think it's a noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? Seriously, I kind of want to know. It's going to go in a camp bag, and that's probably where it's going to sit because I don't see myself carrying this thing on the regular. I just, I don't. I carry the other one because it has more of the tools that I need and serves my purposes a heck of a lot more. Now, with that fun stuff being said, for you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know you've got lots of options out there, and I'm very, very grateful that you're viewing this one. Now, for you first-timers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why. Why don't you leave me an answer right down below in the comments section, and let's see how we can change the course of history of this channel. Now, after you've done all that fun stuff, I know I'm asking a lot, but all of it's free, guys. It really, really is. You know, if you really want to change a YouTuber's history, hit that thumbs up button and share the video. Both are free. But still, after all that fun stuff, look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and subscribed, please beat up that bell icon like it owes you money or said something bad to your sister. Why? Great question, you. Because it's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. <coughs> now, no corona, just fat boy cough. Speaking of videos, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my current catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Gerber Armbar Cork. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day, a wonderful day, a safe day, and we'll see you in our very next video.